My name is Bill Myers. The Estate Department is one of the nation's oldest and most trusted retailers. We are proud to offer the services of the Estate Department, where you, the customer, are invited to come in to an Estate Department event, receive a free, honest, and accurate evaluation of your coins, diamonds, jewelry, watches, and collectibles, and walk out with our highest cash price and a better understanding of your treasured items. Interested? We thought you would be. Now before you start gathering up your estate coins, jewelry, watches, and collectibles and running to the Estate Department, join me as we meet some of the experts here at the Estate Department. Mark Kravitt, the Director of the Estate Department, is here with us today. Hello Mark, can you tell us a little bit about the Estate Department? I'd be happy to. I am the fourth generation of an estate buying family that spans over the last 100 years. I have personally been traveling around the world purchasing jewelry and art for the last 30 years and have always prided myself and my company in paying the highest possible cash price to my customers from everything from the most common coin to the rarest diamond. Nothing and nothing at all is too large or too small for us to purchase and we will always pay you in cash. What we have here at the Estate Department is something unique and special. I have assembled the world leading experts in their respective fields and let you, the public, use their knowledge and expertise for your own benefit in getting a free, accurate evaluation or instant cash for your valuables. That's exciting, Mark. You bring the experts with cash in hand directly to the customer. Our vision stems from the idea that traditionally local people have access to only local merchants. Being in the business for so long, I have met so many people that have either inherited or have treasured items of their own that they wish to have evaluated by true professionals that are honest and accurate. This is where the convenience, professionalism, knowledge of the experts at the Estate Department is priceless. Mark, can you please tell us a little bit more about the experts here at the Estate Department? Let me begin with Bill. Bill is the director of the Max Division here at the Estate Department. Bill has been in the business for over 35 years and is a former professional Zismatic Guild chapter president and a true coin lover. He has owned and brokered some of the world's most important, valuable, and rare coins. So Bill, what does a professional numismatist do? Basically, a professional numismatist is trained to examine and evaluate coins, stamps, and paper currency. We have several teams of professional numismatists to assist our customers in obtaining the true value of what they have. Our customers can also choose to sell their coins and collectibles for an instant cash payment. Tell us more about what you do for a customer. I examine, evaluate, grade, and appraise their U.S. and foreign coins, stamps, and paper currency. There is no charge or obligation for a verbal appraisal. We also pay cash for all your items that we need. Here is a good representation of what we purchase on a daily basis here at the Estate Department. Let's start with silver coins. Everybody has a few of these lying around in their safety deposit box, in the bank, or in their drawers at home. Then we have your common and rare pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, and half dollars, 1964 and earlier. And also all silver dollars. We pay cash for all kinds of silver and gold coins and paper money, in addition of commemorative coins, mint sets, proof sets, Franklin mint sets, silver and gold bars, and paper money from all around the world. You mentioned 1964. Why is that date special? In 1965, the price of silver rose above the face value of the coins. Tell us a little about U.S. and foreign gold coins. First, there are gold coins in one, two and a half, three, and four dollars. A four dollar gold coin is extremely rare. You also have the five, ten, twenty, and fifty dollar gold coins. A fifty dollar gold coin is also extremely rare. U.S. gold coins were first minted in 1795. In the 1930s, U.S. gold coins were ordered to be turned in to the banks by the United States government. However, some people held on to the gold coins for personal reasons. So gold coins from that era are rarer and have a greater value than most modern issued gold coins. 
The Estate Department is buying gold coins and paying instant cash for all the gold coins we need minted from 1795 through 2003 this week only. Hi, thanks for coming in today. I'm Bill. Jay, my wife Bonnie. Hi, nice Hi to Bonnie. Nice to meet you. Have a seat. Certainly, thank you. What can I do for you today? Well, Bill, we inherited some coins, and over the past few weeks, we've been shopping them around for the best price. And we were told that you're the folks to see. So basically, here's what we have. Okay. And what can you do for us? Well, let me take a look. Wow. Quite a collection, huh? Certainly is. I got some gold coins. Yeah. Give me a moment to examine these coins. Oh, please take your time. You have Morgan silver dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now for the gold. Yeah. It's been in the family for years and years. They've been collecting. Jay, you have a beautiful collection, and we're prepared to offer you ninety-seven hundred dollars in cash. Like I said, Bill, we've been uh, several places over the past few weeks. If you're prepared to offer us at $9,700, you have a deal. Fantastic. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you, Bill. This is really going to come in handy to pay some bills that we've had accumulating. I really appreciate it. So tell me about your experience here today at the Estate Department. It was great. We came in with a lot of old coins, and we come out with a lot of green money. Oh, you're taking the money. <laughs> That sounds great. Do you have any other gemologists in the estate department? Of course we do. We have one of the best in the country. Crystal is one of the world's leading experts on estate jewelry. She has owned her business for over 20 years and is a regular buyer at all the international auctions. Her knowledge of period jewelry and the marketplace is unrivaled. She of course also has a graduate gemology degree from the Gemological Institute of America and has been an active member of the International Appraisers Associations for over 15 years. Crystal, can you tell us a little bit more about your role here at the Estate Department? My role is as director and expert of the Jewelry Department, but my love affair with jewelry started many years ago. You see, Bill, there is much more to jewelry than just precious stones and the metal. You also have to take into consideration the environment in which the piece was created. For instance, the Roaring Twenties, which was truly a time of excess. There was literally platinum and diamonds everywhere. Then you move into the 1940s, where the aftermath of the Depression and the effects of World War II were still fresh on everyone's mind. As a direct result, you have the widening use of gold instead of platinum in a myriad of colors, pink, yellow, and green, as well as the use of colored stones instead of diamonds. What makes pieces from these different periods worth so much money? They are a direct reflection of the time in which they were created. Almost all of the pieces of this period were handmade by jewelers that were highly educated and very highly skilled in their art. As a result, many of the items were truly unique. What you are really buying is a piece of art, not on a canvas with paint, but made from metals and precious stones. What type of items do you see on a daily basis at the Estate Department? I normally see a vast variety of items, everything from costume jewelry, arts and crafts, Art Nouveau, Art Deco, and Retro, all the way up to pieces that were made just a few months ago, such as engagement rings and tennis bracelets. We pride ourselves in paying cash for everything from the smallest piece of scrap gold up to the largest diamond suites. Thank you, Crystal, for that brief history in jewelry. It was a pleasure, Bill.
Hi, I'm Crystal. Hi, Crystal. My name's Betty Jean. Please come in and have a seat. Thank you. How can I help you today? I saw your ad in the paper, and I was hoping you could give me a free estimate on my ring. Great. Let me take a look at it. Okay. This is a very nice stone. Based on my evaluation, your diamond is a carat 25 and it's a really pleasing stone. And if you want to sell it to me today, I'm prepared to offer you $2,500 in cash. $2,500, wow. I've been to several jewelers and um, actually that's the best offer I've had. That's great. Now, do you pay cash right here now? You sure do. Oh, that's great. That's what I want to do. So you want to sell it today? I do. Great. Thank you. Thank you. It was nice doing business Thank with you. you. So tell me about your experience here at the estate department. It was great. I had an excellent experience here. I would definitely refer other people here, my friends and my family, because this is the one place that they offered me cash right on the spot, and I was offered so much more here than anywhere else. I've been to several places. So I'm very, very pleased, very happy to be here. Richard, he's a fourth generation horologist. He was an expert at Christie's in Geneva, Switzerland, and is also the director of Antiquorum, a Swiss space auction house that is a leader in vintage watch auctions. He is currently working here at the State Department as the director of our watch and clock division. What type of watches does the State Department buy? Here, at the State Department, we pay instant cash for American pocket watches such as Elgin, American Waltham, Howard, Ball, and Boulevard. We also pay a premium on any railroad quality watches, as well as any European watches like Patek Philippe, Rolex, Vacheron Constantin, Breguet, and Cartier. Really, any Swiss brand from the 1700s up until the 1950s. So what you're really looking for is anything that goes tick-tock. Yes, the State Department will pay instant cash for any of the pocket watches that we need, but we are also looking for wristwatches by Rolex, Patek Philippe, Breguet, Vacheron Constantin, Cartier, Hamilton, Boulevard, Gruen, and Omega in any metal, be it in steel, gold-filled, gold, or platinum. We also buy grandfather clocks, mantle clocks, and wall clocks from the 16th century up until the present. Richard, can you give us a brief history of the wristwatch? Wristwatches only became popular after World War I, when soldiers brought the convenience of wearing a timepiece on their wrist instead of in their pocket home with them. A few years later, everybody was wearing wristwatches. In the next 50 years, many complications were added to the wristwatch, such as dates, chronographs, moon faces, even perpetual calendars. All these add-ons to the watch came from necessity stemming from World War II. Many watch companies, such as Rolex, who made the first practical waterproof watch, and Patek Philippe, with their chronometer-accurate deck watches, played an important and historic role during wartime. And as a result, we here at the State Department are always willing to pay instant cash for these items. It sounds like horology has played a big role in all of our lives, and we didn't even know it. That's outstanding. Thanks, Richard. How do you, sir? Hi, I'm Richard. Please have a seat. How can I help you today? Well, I brought this watch, passed on to me through my father's estate, uh, and I read in the paper you were having a, a buyer's event. This is a very good watch, Ken. Your father had very good taste in wristwatches. He actually bought the best wristwatch in the market at that time. Did you have any idea that you had such a rare watch in your possession? No, I didn't, Richard. Well, what's the value of that watch? Well, for a watch like this, I'd be more than, um, I'd be very comfortable in paying you about $125,000 for it. How, how do I get paid? Well, I, we could pay you in, in a, a few different ways. I could either give you cash, I could give you a check, or we could even do a wire transfer. Whatever you feel comfortable with. Okay. 
Would you would you like to sell the watch? I, I, I think I would, yes. Okay. Well, in this case, I, I would prefer cash. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Sir, can you tell me what your experience was like here today at the Estate Department? You know, I've taken that watch to a lot of places. But I saw the end of paper, I brought it down to these guys, they offered me much more than I even thought the watch was worth. They paid me in cash. These guys are the greatest. You can take that to the bank because that's what I'm going to do. experts in coins, diamonds, jewelry, and watches. But do you have a general antiques expert here at the Estate Department? Yes, we do. Ben is a third generation antique specialist with family roots that go back six decades to one of Chicago's most famous art galleries. Ben has also spent over 25 years as a member of the National Auctioneers Association and is currently the director of the Fine Arts and Antiques Division here at the Estate Department. Hello, Ben. Can you please tell us what types of antiques you and your colleagues buy here at the Estate Department? The Estate Department prides itself in paying cash for all types of antiques. This includes antique ivories, art glass, bronzes, KPM ceramic plaques, musical bird boxes, historical documents, and paintings over 50 years old. Is old silver better than new silver? For the vast majority of sterling silver, there is no difference in quality or weight between the two. A few patterns that have been brought back into production have been altered slightly, but this represents only a handful of patterns. A popular myth exists that old silver is of better quality than newly produced silver. Older silver has already developed its own beautiful soft glow called patina. After years of use, the tarnish also develops in the grooves of the design, which further showcases the detailing. New silver will also acquire this glow and detail enhancement after a few years of use. Earlier you mentioned that the Estate Department also buys paintings and prints. Can you elaborate on that? Sure. We are always able to pay instant cash and top dollar for paintings, prints, and lithographs by any of these listed artists. Cortez, Innes, Wiggins, Mucha, and Picard. These are the type of artists that we see and buy on a daily basis. There are a few instant important things to remember, such as condition, which is the most important factor when evaluating paintings. The painting must be entirely original with no touch-up or restoration to achieve top dollar. The same goes for prints and lithographs, which usually suffer from a common problem called foxing, which is the discoloration and pitting of the paper that they were printed on. Thanks, Ben. I wonder if my lithographs are worth any money. Well, just bring them in the estate department this week only for a free and accurate verbal evaluation and cash offer. Hi, Hello, how I'm are Bernice you? Cornfield, and I've read your ad in the paper. I have some silver oh, to sell. Oh, beautiful. How long have you had these? Oh, I've had it for years, and the kids are not interested in it, and I don't serve dinners like that anymore. Okay. It's a service for 12? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's Reed and Barton. Bernice, I see you have a beautiful set of 12 here with two serving pieces mm -hmm. of Reed and Barton, right. Francis the First, and we're prepared to pay you $1,100 for this. Well, I've been to some other places and they offered a little less. I shouldn't even really be telling you that, <laughs> but 
I think I'll take it if you give me cash. We will pay cash right now. All right. And then I you think accept I'll, it. I think I'll do it because I really don't use this stuff anymore. You have a lot of Let me get the money for you. Please. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven hundred dollars. Thank you very much. It You're was welcome. A and you have a good day. You guys are really nice here. A lot nicer than some of the other places. Oh, I'm going to have to tell you that. And I have some other things at home. I have some paintings. And I oh, have definitely. Some, okay. Please come in. I'll get them together and I'll give, us I'll a give call. you a we'll call. call. Please do. So tell me, how was your experience here at the Estate Department? I have to tell you, I had the best time. I received cash for some sterling that I sold. They were polite and wonderful and gave me more money than anyone I had been to. I went to some of the major auction houses and they had all this with commissions and all kinds of stuff and would send me a check and I came in here and he gave me all this cash. I can't believe it. I'm going to go home and I'm going to buy some more silver. It sounds like the Estate Department has all the bases covered in terms of experts that can accurately evaluate any item somebody might bring in. Thank you, Mark. It was my pleasure. Thanks for coming today. They gave me more for that watch than I ever expected to get. It was awesome. They were polite and wonderful and gave me more money than anyone I had been to. highest possible cash price to my customers from everything from the most common coin to the rarest diamond. Nothing and nothing at all is too large or too small for us to purchase and we will always pay you in cash. What we have here at the Estate Department is something unique and special. I have assembled the world leading experts in their respective fields and let you, the public, use their knowledge and expertise for your own benefit in getting a free, accurate evaluation or instant cash for your valuables.